Shut up and sit down. Hello, I'm the Cyber Guru. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Uh, so I got a question on uh, on the uh, YouTube about the thread holder that I had made or the spool holder I had made about making the threads longer. I actually got two or three separate questions about this. So I actually. Uh, went into Fusion to see how hard it would be to change, and I, I had forgotten that the, the original uh, designer actually made it the entire design parametric. So I just wanted to show you real quick how to make the design. So uh, here we go. Okay, so here we are uh, in Fusion. I've loaded the original design, which I have uh, in Fusion here. Um, and I just want to show you, so there are two parts, two components to the original design, the bolt and the nut. Uh, you can change any of these dimensions. Uh, I will show you here, let's go into the bolt, uh, show you the sketch here, um, turn on the different sketches. Um, it looks like uh, that's how they, the uh, guy who designed it made it, but the different extrusions here, let's see if we can find it, that's that one. There we go. So that looks like the original extrusion that made the thread. So if we go in and we say edit feature, uh, you'll see here it pops up the edit window. Uh, but the distance of how tall it is is actually a parameter. Uh, so we'll hit cancel here and then go into modify change parameters. And this will show you all of the parameters that you can edit. Uh, in this case, it, it, this uh, the guy who did it did an amazing job of of setting this up, making it easier to use. Um, so the thread height here, uh, the wedge height, uh, the spool, the big spool diameter, little spool diameter is what I'm assuming these mean. You can see here that the thread height is 75 millimeters and if we were to just quickly change it to say 100 to make it longer, uh, uh, click OK, you can see that it's now 100 millimeters and we can show this by inspecting it. Um, I think if we select the top and select the bottom here or something like that, it's going to say 100 millimeters from top to bottom. Uh, that is pretty cool. So now you have a, uh, a spool holder here that just is a little bit longer um, by 25 millimeters. And it didn't have to do anything in terms of actual uh, manipulation of the feature sets. Uh, that's pretty amazing. So I will actually, and I've already done this, I uh, save it as a new project and upload it to Thingiverse as a remix um, just for folks to have uh, for future reference. Okay, so I hope you see how easy it was to change the uh, size of the threads. You can actually go in and manipulate a variety of the parameters. Uh, so the original design was done uh, very well uh, in terms of making it parametric. And so if you want to change the, the width of the uh, spool holder, if you have a spool holder uh, with a very large hole, um, and even I think the taper angle there you can mess with. But uh, So if you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't, uh, thumbs up anyway. Don't forget to subscribe. I think it'll be... I don't know. We'll put it in one of these corners. Um, and uh, don't forget to watch the original video. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Thanks, everyone.